Hi everyone. Now we will learn about Laravel mutators. So first we will discuss what are the mutators in Laravel. Then we will create controller function and router. We don't need to create controller file and model file because that we created in the last part for uh, uh, Laravel accessors. So we will use these file only. Then uh, we will create two examples for mutators in Laravel and at last we will discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project job and interviews you can access this playlist from description box of this part so let's understand what are the mutators in laravel so when we want to uh, modify the data before storing in the database that time we have to use mutators functions and these functions are basically placed in the laravel model so how they work let me show you so now you can see that we have a student table and before storing the data you want to uh, storing the data in the uh, database table you want to modify that data right for example uh, so if you will store the next row in this table so you want like before saving the name we should uh, uh, convert the first letter letter in the capital and we have to change something in the mobile number also so that time we can define the mutator functions and before storing the data they will modify this data and data will be stored accordingly in the database right so now how we can create the uh, mutators and how they work let me show you all right so first i will go to the student controller and create a controller function as i told you function name can be like save or anything and see there we will store the data in the database base but that will use a st uh, static data because this is not about we are getting the data from html form or we are putting some static data the point is how mutators can modify or update the data before storing in the database all right okay so let me just return there uh, save function so that we can get to know route is working fine or not after that let's go to the web.php and uh, then let's let's put the function name is save route name is save and the function name is also save that we mentioned there right so now if i just call this save function you will see that save function this is getting called so everything is working fine so next thing is let me take a variable the name of this variable is student and we can get it from the new student model right student model so let me create an instance of this new student right and there we can assign some data to the each of the column so we have these three major ids automate uh, auto incremented created and updated date will be automatically added so we have to add these three fields so let me add name and name is let's say bruce there after that let me add two more with the name we have to add email and phone number also so phone number and last one is email so phone number is let's say double nine double nine or maybe uh, one two three four something and email id is let's say uh, bruce at the rate test.com right and now if you want to store it what we need to do we can just run this function even if you want you can directly run it like this only student then store but if this is successful we want to show a message so better is if we can put in the condition right so i'll check there and we'll say echo new student added or registered or admission whatever you want to say right so now let me call this function now you can see that new student is added and if i check there right now there is a three rows only right if i just refresh you will find we have the fourth row also with the name of proofs but the point is before storing the data i want to make it capital and i want to change the phone number also but we'll go step by step you can mention one point there so why we cannot simply put the capital b like this and it will be the capital b in the row that's fine but whenever we are getting the data from the form we don't know we are not sure like uh, user will put the small b or capital b or anything right so that's better if you will just use a mutator for this but how it will work the point is this so go to the mutator file here and create a function and function name should be start with the set right we are setting something in the database and the public function we have to use there set attribute name which is name 
right because we are adding we are changing this name name then attribute like this after that just return there dollar this and then you can say that attributes attributes like this and the name of attribute uh, the name is name only and i want to just put there apple only i want to show you like whatever i'm just putting there that will be updated uh, in the you can say that database right but the point is why we are getting uh, error there Achha, we just put the function two times okay so yeah and the value we are getting in this uh, parameter this is the actual value right so if i just store it you will find the name is apple now here you can see that because this property name is overridden by the this uh, uh, attribute name this value with the help of this mutator so this is the basically a mutator so but what i actually want i don't want to make it like this i want to just capitalize the first letter so i just put there uc first and there i'll put dollar well so if i just add something new you will find the first letter is capital let me store it this is stored and now you can see that b is capital there similarly if you want to create uh, one more mutator for the phone number just use the phone put phone value and phone value should be something like plus 91 and then dot well right and now let's store it now we'll find that this is the number one two three four and before that the plus nine will be added will be added here we go right so if you just change some name maybe bruce to the tony and uh, phone number is let's say double three double three you will still see the first letter will be capital and plus nine one will be the added there here we go so this is how mutators work in laravel if you still have question any uh, regarding to the mutators or any other thing in laravel you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video please like this video share your feedback in comment section and uh, subscribe my channel this is my paytm donation number thanks guys